Hi again, everyone. I'm Ollie Matthews. This is the Narcissistic Resistance, and this resistance video is part two, sponsored by Amanda, aka Snowflake, and here's her story. Ever since Twinkie Binky forced Sauron back into my life, I've been having a mental battle with myself. For some reason, I feel guilty about going no contact with Sauron again. It's because you have no ability to empathize with yourself, Amanda. That's where the guilt is coming from. All that guilt, all that self-care that is meant for yourself, you are projecting onto dogs. I see people do this all the time with animals. Especially people who are involved in, in, resc in, in rescues, and I've talked about. Like the whole animal rescue, adoption, it's riddled with narcs looking for power. Riddled with narcs looking for power. And don't even get me started on pit bulls. So, on people about them, the whole pit logic. and the, Like, these are people, most of them are just projecting something onto these animals. Whether it's hurt or aggressiveness or, 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 or in your case, in a lot of cases like yours, the inability to empathize with yourself, the, un the inability to care for yourself and projecting it onto a dog. For some reason, I feel guilty about going no contact with Sauron again. She acts completely different now from when I live with her. It's very confusing because she's trying. That's how hoovering works. <clears throat> If she acted the same as when you ran away from her in the first place, then then, she, then that should just tell you she knows the difference. Of course she's acting differently because she knows how she acted in the first place drove you away. So that should tell you right there, right off the bat, she knows the difference. Understand, narcissism is a choice. These cluster B personality disorders are a choice. They choose to act like this. This isn't a chemical imbalance they have in their head. There's no chemical imbalance that say that that makes you plot to logically plot against somebody. Concise plans, plan. There is none. These are choices that they lie to protect them. And all their lies are to protect a truth that they are that they are hiding. It makes me doubt my past with her because she doesn't remember anything bad she's ever done to me. Of course she does. Of course she does. Of course she does. You know she does because she's acting differently now. She's never going to admit it. She actually believes that she was an amazing mother. My ex, keep, my ex kept trying to tell me that Sauron probably feels bad and is trying to make up for the past. Then again, she called the phone at my job because I wasn't responding to her. Luckily, I was the one who answered the phone. That was completely inappropriate for her to do. Yeah, of course, because she has no bound. There's no boundary. There's no boundary. She wants what she wants. And since I didn't go to her Christmas party, she called me and said she was 15 minutes away from my dad's house. She showed up, handed me a big bag of presents, and left. Two of the presents made me say, what the fuck, out loud. The first one was a bottle opener. I don't drink alcohol or soda. The second one was a fucking men's tie. I'm a damn female. Download smear campaign. Here's my ex with his projection and smear campaign. Mom said you can't come in until 12. Okay. So if you don't want any problems, I suggest you wait somewhere and make sure anyone you are with does not come in or stay outside and we will get cops called on us. 
I was planning on being civil, so okay, that's fine. Well, not us anymore, you. I'm being civil too, but I don't believe anything out of your mouth. It all makes sense now, so don't even play that he said, she's, that he, don't play the he said, she said in excuses and really to bring my friends into this. I brought them into it last night because I found out about your little connections with T, uh, with Tyler. You use me. Why did, why did, why do this after we get kicked out? That's messed. I'm sorry, but I don't know you. I thought I did. Okay, Twinkie, you can believe whatever you want. Yeah, he's just raging. If you knew the change I made, that was for us. I'm so stupid. I be what, did he agree to stop sucking cock? Like, what, what change did he make? I believe what I saw with my eyes, LOL. Not, my, not only my eyes, I had camera surveillance and people spying, LOL. Funny, breaking my heart is so comical. Okay, Twinkie, you should take your meds. That's how you just, just, just reply to him. Like, okay, crazy. Okay, 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 take your meds. Yes, yeah, stop that. You are so out of line. The truth has been revealed, so I'm sorry. Your parents are going to be so disappointed with your drug use. I did. You should get therapy. Okay, Twinkie. And go to rehab, maybe even jail. You disgust my mom and I. Thank you for causing nothing but annoyance. Find your next victim. Okay, Twinkie. I'm sure to... I'll be sure to warn them, though. <laughs> right. I showed our friend the messages and said he... And he said, what the fuck is wrong with him? This is my room. He doesn't have cameras in here. And what, and what people? There's no one else here. That's no that's nowhere for anyone there's there's nowhere for anyone to hide. Yeah, it's just delusions. It's just delusions of the spiraling narcissist. That's all. Delusions of a spiraling narcissist. They then the text messages and they'll just spout it out. I got cameras, I got spies, I got people. Okay. 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 Alone once again in this journey of highs and lows we call adulthood, after 18 months of planning a future with your best friend and fiancé, I'm, I'm a total loss of identity. Where am I going in life? Will I find that caring, dependable, and unique woman who sticks by my side with warmth, acceptance, compassion, honesty, and a zest for life that I feel most myself safe and passionate with? Am I even deserving of deserving of such a love will everyone that was methodically pushed and shoved away and i had been manipulated to cut ties with people who threatened her secrets or feeling inferior i will get a second chance oh my god this is is this him is this like him writing this emo shit she will not true colors shown like wildfire in only 24 hours you might think you know someone but you can't always be sure that it's their fault not mine this is like the goth kids on south park should i feel bad for already getting over this toxic relationship and being okay with myself for hooking up with someone i barely knew before this day of how oh and there like why it's all right for him to uh, come on man this is just pathetic i think not and so far opinions say i'm 27 single man and it's healthy but I'm working on loving myself foremost, but can still enjoy life. Can't say same for her. Sad waste of 18 months. <clears throat> I am about a month, is him again, I guess. I'm about a month fresh from separating amicably with my now ex fiance of 18 months. However, I was never fully happy, and I settled. Huge mistake. Learned a lot. Yeah, because why? Yeah, you settled. You settled because she didn't have a dick, dude. Sorry, Amanda, you don't have a dick and balls, so you settled. Like, it's the only thing you settled on. You settled on a vagina, remember? Remember? Huge mistake. Learned a lot, though, about how, how tusk for cohabitation with another person. After a year of doing so with me pulling up, putting up with too much toxic behavior, 
I felt like a failure and avoided breaking it off the last three months of it. As for once, my family became her family and she put on a good show. They were utterly shocked when what her toxic treatment toward me was revealed. And I, and just like that, this person you and all your loved ones believed would be in each other's lives forever ghosted not only them to this day, but me after our verbal argument that caused this to end causes to end took place jesus christ dude Oof. which was so hard thinking i'm going to bed alone for the first time in over a year i do not want my person and i'm willing to take wait i do want my person and i'm willing to take chances with any who i see potential with but at the same time i don't want someone else to be led down let down and dissatisfied like the 95 percent of my dating history where by nine months i seem to screw it up or my vulnerability brings out quirkiness and i'm not so and my not so masculine side or my la my not so masculine side you mean putting dicks in your mouth yeah, you're not so masculine side. I don't know why you're not so masculine side would be an issue here in the relate. Like, oh my God, dude, just go be gay. Just go be gay. Oh God, the borderline on the down low is the worst. Is the worst. Is a sp <sighs> this emo bullshit. Christ, just go be gay. No one cares. My not-so-masculine side or my lack of resources are finally not cutting it. So like I said, I've learned a lot. I'm happy this happened, but still afraid for what lies in the future or lack thereof, I fear. So I am surprisingly ready to start being open to dating if opportunity presents myself but I'm still a work in progress as we all are. But she's unfortunately not as she's stuck in her childhood bedroom, wasting away and not taking her hand off phone for God knows what, when she really, when she really needs help, but she can't see it and her parents don't really force her to do anything to be an adult and learn how to shower, brush and floss, cook food, do your laundry, stay at a job more than six months and actually make some girlfriends and maybe go to a mental health professional regularly instead of instead of five years ago. But I'm the one who was the bad force in this relationship, even as I'm going to counseling weekly by myself. She would never, she would, she never would she commit, yet I went for months. I think I'm doing pretty damn good, and I know that I'm better than this emotionally neglectful man she will claim to the two people I introduced her to, and yet she still talks to them. They are both guys as well, and she couldn't stand that I had friends in my life that were girls, even though I never hung out or spoke to more than once a month. I'm told she talks to them almost every day, and still I'm trying to be nice and let her have at least two people that she can have as friends. Yeah, dude, you got to let her have. <laughs> I'm kind of... I'm kind of brainwashed by her control, but her control she held. But like I said, I know honestly I gave 110% and she only gave about 30%, more like 20% actually. Could I get 15, 10, what? Like, come on, dude. I realize I deserve better and want better and want to be so happy with knowing I have everything. I need to keep me at my best me ah uh, scary and confusing thought i'd get what i'd been holding off in my chest holding holding it off my chest to everyone finally well in regards to her privacy and being at least somewhat respectful while still telling an accurate record of the relationship holy christ dude accurate record of the relationship 
but what about the fact that you're fucking gay and treated me like shit? Yeah, like, thank you. The accuracy must be invisible because I can't find it. He also left me two voicemails while he was at the hotel with Michael during our breakup. The projection is kind of funny. I'm not the one who nods out at work. I'm not the one who had to be in the hospital several times for drug use. I'm not the one who got fired for giving minor a minor hard drugs. I'm not the one who hold I'm I'm the one who holds down a job as a manager at a drugstore. I'm the one who doesn't have to fake a drug test. But yes, please continue telling everyone how awful I am and how I am the reason you're addicted to meth, even though years before you you even knew me. You were doing speed balls and goofballs. That makes sense. I must be a trunk, uh, a time traveler. Twinkie sent you one cent. Why shut out the one person who actually gave the fuck about you? It was all. It was if all of that was for nothing. Here's how much. Here's how much you made it worth to you. One cent. <laughs> wow. It's interesting to me that Twinkie has to go so hard on the smear campaign against me and post about me all over the internet. That's what, listen, that's what download, that's what borderline males on the download do when they spiral. That, that's just it. That's what you're seeing. You're seeing a borderline male spiral. It's interesting to me that Twinkie has to go so hard on the smear campaign against me and post about me all over the internet. The DL borderline mail video was the first time I've said anything about the breakup or about him online. But even then, I'm able to provide things back to back up the truth. These narcs never have real evidence to back up their claims. He loves posting public videos online of him using drugs and they could be and they could be easily shared. It's like he doesn't even realize the potential consequences of his actions. He posts these drug videos, yet goes to his outpatient rehab with someone else's piss and doses it, and doses it with his bipolar medications so he can get more medications to sell drugs. Somehow I'm the bad one and I should be in jail. Never in my life have I been in trouble with the cops. He's been arrested, though, and charged with DWI. These narcissists are ridiculous. These are the voicemails he made to me while he was in the company of his friends. <clears throat> We're going to get to hear Twinkie Binky again, huh? For really wanting to make this civil, you are really fucking cutting it close by telling Becky uh, that, I, that I'm in the wrong. I don't know. She, asked, she told me I need to go to a fucking mental institution. I'm a fucker. And what, did I cheat on you? That's all bullshit. You know that, Amanda. You're in the fucking wrong. Do they know the drug extent use, the extent of it, and you lying? Did you really want me to have to do all of this? I really didn't want to have to. But obviously, it looks like you have problems and you need help. You need serious help. He hates women. Like he, like you could just like I know this guy. You can hear the disdain on his voice. Alcohol, heroin, meth. You name it, and it's just like you act like you don't use. You. you act like it's just no, that shit doesn't happen. Shit, well, guess what? It does happen, and my mom saw the evidence, and my mom's very upset with you. My dad's gonna be very upset with you. They used to love you. You were part of the family. You destroyed that all for nothing. I never called you names. You were listening to everyone else, like Ty chirping in your ear, being like, you know, don't be disrespectful, you're disrespecting her. Well, guess what? You asked, you've been telling everyone about our sex life. I was, I was honest. I was say, okay, you want to know? I'm not intimate because you don't smell good, you stink, you don't brush your teeth, I don't see one goddamn toothbrush that's yours, never seen you brush your teeth, and maybe if you're nice to me, smiled. 
that girl Mandy was even warmer and nicer than me after she knew that we fought. And guess what? We broke up, and I enjoyed the single life. Thank you. I know what I want, and it's not you. Bye. <sighs> Dude, just go be gay. Dude, just be gay. You're 27 years old. We were together for 18 months. You can't even give me the decency to talk to me and end this and just be over it and let's move on because I've already moved on from you. But obviously you haven't because I have Becky texting me telling me how horrible I am. Um, your mom, you know, Elaine, was thinking, you know, it's stuff that actually wasn't even what was going on. She didn't even know uh, the extent of it. And now she does and she will even more. <clears throat> My mom and is so disgusted. I can't believe what you did. You have no idea. You ripped my family apart. We were your family. We were willing to take care of you. And you have no respect. You can show these messages to whoever and say how rude I am. I'm not being rude. I'm being honest. How else do we communicate? There's no communication because you don't know how to and you won't. I've tried to get you to go to counseling. You won't. I've tried to be more intimate with you. You won't clean up, clean yourself up. I'm sorry. Uh, my bed smells like fucking a homeless person. That's disgusting. Um, my whole room has all your shit. That's fucking disgusting. Thank you. Thanks so much for ruining my life. Please, please, next time when you have a relationship, don't ignore them because that just showed how childish you are. And guess what? The truth's going to come out. You can't hide from it forever. Sorry, you had all the chances, you know, and it's sad. Elaine's probably like, well, I'm just going to bring her back home and she can live here and we're going to buy her car, even though she uses meth, heroin, and, you know, she thinks it's okay. And she'll hide it from us and she'll say, but Corbin did some, but Corbin, but he, but it doesn't matter what he did, she did. Walgreens, but they left the kills in and they didn't get in trouble. Guess what? It doesn't matter, but you did. And my mom said, it was a stupid mistake. I didn't call you stupid. I didn't call you names. I said, why do you keep on making the same stupid mistake? And my mom said, yes, you're right. How many times? You, you owe my mom an apology. You need to call her as soon as you can. My dad, don't even talk to him. He does not want to have anything to do with you. And this... I mean, you're dating a drama... I mean, you're dating... It's not even that he's gay. You're dating like a drama gay. He's a drama gay. Like, there's nothing wrong with being gay. Who cares? Obviously, this guy's problem is gay. He's drama gay. Once we talk, it'll be our last conversation ever. I do not want to have a friendship with someone who's so deceitful and has no empathy. I'm homeless. I have no money. Yet, you're living, you know, beautifully at your parents' house again. Being taken care of. Jobless. Jealous. You have a Wait, what, but if his parents, how is he homeless? If his parents are mad at you, like, is his parents home? Like, what? what's going on? You don't. Oh, hmm. Funny. Yeah, that's exactly what you are saying last month. The roles have, have, have reversed. You're getting worse and worse. Get help. Get rehab. Stop ruining my life. Stop spreading lies. Stop saying that I did this and I, I cheated on you with... I gave someone roadhead. What the fuck? No, I did not. Who the fuck's Johnny? This all this shit is just Johnny. <laughs> shit is getting fed into your ear because they want to get in your pants. I'm the only one who's ever respected you. Well, if she's so smelly and stinky, then why do these guys all want to get in her pants? Like, doesn't she smell? You're the only one who can make her. Like, it doesn't even make sense. He's so bitter. He's so angry. I don't know why they'd want to get in your pants anyways with you, how you act. With how you act. <gasps> My broche. What a drama queen. He has no idea that for the last six months of our relationship, I was talking to my mom almost daily and letting her know what was going on. He didn't know that, so he thought she would fall for his bullshit. 
it was kind of funny to watch him rat himself out about his drug use. He called his mom and told her that he's been using, and then he said it was because of me. My mom seen me sober, and she's seen me while using. She can tell the difference. I think he was hoping that it would come back on me somehow, yet his parents saw that since he'd been with me, he wasn't fucked up on drugs like he was before. I even got a text from his dad weeks after telling me that they don't blame me and they thanked me. <clears throat> I'm very lucky to have parents. I'm very lucky to have the parents that, ha that I have. After the breakup, well, other than Sauron, you mean other than Sauron? After the breakup, they went over to his house to get my stuff for me, and they've been helping me through this. Mom's also been trying to get, trying to get, to go to, completely go no contact with Sauron. I'm I'm trying really hard. You, you have to. I wasn't going to mention this, but I need, but I need to. So I guess I'll add it here. I don't like to talk about my stepdad, which I'm sure you've noticed. There's a reason for that. Twinkie knew all about what, what I went through with Sauron and my stepdad, yet he wanted Sauron back in my life. I, f I feel like that right there shows how vindictive and evil Twinkie is. Yeah, they plot against you. They Listen, they look for... Look, Twinkie hates you. He hates women. He hates being gay. He hates it. And he just, he's just vitriol. And all he wants to do is see you hurt. The borderline male on the down low wants to hurt you. Wants to see you damaged. And is going to put you in the most damaging situations. Anything you tell him is going to be turned around and used to hurt you. The sole person who destroyed my childhood he brings back into my life against my will. Anyways, I'll lightly go over the thing with my stepdad. I think I was 10 years old when it started to happen. He would start tickling me and then he would go up my shirt. If I reacted, he would tell me I was overreacting and that, was just, and that he was just tickling me. Once I hit junior high, he started walking into the bathroom while I was showering and standing there. I told Sauron, but all she had to say say about it was, oh, he didn't know. Oh, he didn't know. She said it so casually it made me, con it made me so confused. Then when I was a teenager at one of Sauron's Christmas parties, he groped my butt under the table. I was afraid to say anything and fear what would happen once everyone left, so I just scooted away from him. I think I'm going to end it here. Well, if you did have a problem taking a shower, I could see why. The borderline male on the down low is always going to try to damage. He hates you. He hates you. Anything you tell them, any piece of information they are going to use to hurt you, they enjoy seeing you hurt. The borderline male enjoys seeing you hurt and will put you in situations deliberately to see you hurt because somehow that feeds their supply. So, I hope that helps. Thank you so much, Amanda, for all your support and your stories. I really appreciate it. Thank you to everybody watching. Please leave any opinions or advice in the comment section below. And again, if you want your story read on the channel, you have a topic you'd like me to cover, a narcissist you'd like to expose, you'd like to have a private video made, or you'd just like to make a contribution to the channel in general to keep it supported, growing, and successful, because this channel survives 100% on contributions from all of you. Without you guys, all this goes away. So if you like what you see here and you want to see more videos like this, you know what to do with the PayPal and email links in the description box. Also, please like and share this video wherever you can. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't. And be sure to click the subscription bell to be notified of all my video uploads. I'm Ollie Matthews. This has been The Narcissistic Resistance. Take care.